Hi, let's do another G exam question. We're going to do question seven from the uh, August 27th, 2021, three o'clock test. Uh, so this is looking at VSEPR, valent shell electron pair repulsion. We're looking at geometries. Let's read the question. It says, how many of the following species have non-pyramidal geometry? And then they give us four molecules that we need to look at. So here's your recipe list. Here are the steps to figure this out. First, you want to draw the Lewis dot structure. Second, you're going to count electron domains and pay special attention always to the bonded electron domains and the lone pair electron domains. Once you've done that, then you're going to identify the molecular geometry. Honest truth, a molecular geometry, you just have to memorize it. Now, the geometries are logical, so you can make it make sense. It's not necessarily just rote memorization. Uh, you can look at the shape and say, oh yeah, this shape, it does correlate to the name that it's been given, but you have to memorize those. So let's draw our Lewis dot structures. Sulfur has six valence electrons. It shares two electrons with two electrons shared by the oxygen. These two bonds, though, are coordinate covalent bonds. If you need help with that, I'll post a link up above uh, to help you with coordinate covalent bonds. Um, so we have now, let's count the electron domains. One, two, three, and they're all bonded. Little reminder, I'm counting the electron domains. An electron domain is an area where electrons exist. Here is what qualifies as one electron domain, a single bond, a double bond, a triple bond, and a lone pair. Any one of those qualifies one area where electrons exist. So even though this is a double bond, and you and I know that there are four electrons there, it's still one area, one domain where electrons exist. So it's one electron domain. So three electron domains, uh, the angle between this maximum angle is 120 degrees. That is called trigonal planar. Remember, the theory in VSEPR is that electron domains always repel a maximum distance from one another, and that's why we can predict shape. So these three areas are going to repel a maximum distance of about 120 degrees. It looks like a triangle if you connect the vertices and it's going to be on one plane. Nice. Uh, here we have our carbonate ion. Uh, so this carbon is going to share two electrons uh, to double bond, sharing two electrons from the oxygen. It shares one electron with each of the oxygens and then the extra electrons attach to those oxygens to fulfill their octets. Let's count electron domains. One, two, three electron domains. Again, that's going to be trigonal planar. Uh, over here, we have got a uh, nitrate ion. The nitrogen is going to share two electrons, oxygen share two electrons to have a double bond. Uh, this nitrogen is going to do a coordinate covalent bond. Uh, that's where it provides both of the electrons that are being shared to this oxygen. Here it shares an electron and that extra electron is going to go onto that oxygen. Uh, let's count electron domains. One, two, three, all bonded electron domains repel maximum distance of 120 degrees. That molecular geometry is going to be the trigonal planar. Okay, now let's look at our uh, phosphorus trichloride. So phosphorus has five valence electrons. It's going to share one electron with, with each of the three chlorines. Chlorine has seven valence electrons. It shares one electron. So all the chlorines have a full octet of eight. And notice phosphorus shared one, two, three. So then it has four, five, a lone pair on top of it. Let's count electron domains. It's got one, two, three, four. Remember that lone pair counts as an electron domain. So four electron domains, three are bonded, one lone pair. That molecular geometry, what would be detected from an instrument is called trigonal pyramidal. Trigonal pyramidal. Um, remember, if this was a bond right here, it's tetrahedral. It reminds me of a um, tripod. So imagine here, you've got one, two, three legs, up here would be the where the uh, camera sits. Well, right now, in this, it is a lone pair. So this top part is unseen by an instrument. The lone pair sits really close to that phosphorus. So all that's detected by an instrument for us to say, there's a molecular geometry, but we would see, 
are the one, two, three legs. It looks like a pyramid. And if we connected the uh, bottom vertices, it's a triangle. So trigonal pyramidal is where that name comes from. I will also post a couple of links for you if you need some more help with uh, VSEPR, with the electron geometry. So finally, to answer this question, it wants to know how many of these species have um, a non-pyramidal geometry. Uh, well, three of these are going to have non-pyramidal. We have one that's a pyramidal, okay? Good work, I'm so proud of you. You go and just defeat that test. Tackle that test and do great, thanks.